You guys, first of all, pardon my appearance. I just want to come on here and tell you all that I just wrote, directed, and produced a sketch with my sketch comedy group, One Word No Caps. I am so proud of this sketch. It's called The Button. It's a satire. It is doing a commentary on just the social injustices in the United States, specifically dealing with police brutality against people of color. Um, so while it is a comedy, it is making a comment on uh, the state of the world as regarding that situation. So please check it out. I'm starring in it as well as my girlfriend, Denora, who you all have met several times. There is um, Vinny, Vincent, and Chris, who are also a part of One Word No Caps, that are starring in it. They did a phenomenal job. And then um, the young lady who edited it is also a part of One Word No Caps. Her name is Danny Spring. So please check it out. It'll be in the description box below. As well as I am doing a parody with Mama Mafia. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to post it on this channel. I think I will, but it'll definitely be on Instagram as well as Facebook either today or tomorrow. So check that out. Anyway, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you think of the vlog below. And um, yeah, like the video, share it. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Be blessed. Bye. Okay, guys, I don't know how well you can see me or the fact that my mama is right there. Hey guys! I'm on girls. another date night! <laughs> that chick angel! That chick angel! That chick angel! Mama, I look like, uh, Mama said I look like Angela Davis, but I feel like I look like Black Annie. Like the oh, sun will come God. out tomorrow! <laughs> like this wig, that's why I never wear it. It's uh -huh. just the shape is just a little too like. Uh, womp, womp. That's all right. Well, just give it to your mother. You're not gonna wear this. this. Yes, why wouldn't I? This is, you've never worn a wig this style ever. I, not, yes, not, not, not. Yes, I have. Not just, in my adult life. Well, things change. Yes, you don't wear wigs. <laughs> this I think it'll look nice on me. Yeah, most wigs do, but okay. you ain't gonna wear this. You this look good. Way. That that wig you got on right now. You think it look good? Mm -hmm. Okay. I was gonna put one of but I didn't feel like it. Oh my god, let me just go. She got one. some cute wigs. The one wig that you saw her wear in the video, and then she got another one that's like a faux lock wig. It's really, really cute. Mm -hmm. I told her she should wear it to my cousin's wedding. Because the way they styled the locks, it looks like a formal hairstyle for yeah. locks. It's yeah. super cute. It's very cute. Yeah. There's a wig that I saw that I liked. Glad I didn't buy it half price on Sam's Beauty. Oh, and you. A literal yeah. half price. Well, the, actually, the a little one, less. The one that I got? No, ma'am. Not the one that, that one. I tried on, like the one that you got. Ah, yeah. Well, let me know about that one, because that one, it's making us different, but it'll, both of them look good. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna. But yeah, I think I'm gonna rock it, rock it, rock it, rock it. That's cute. I haven't seen you in a long wig in a long time. And see, this, my, my, the reason I, I didn't wear this recently is because I have to get, keep my neck tr you know, trimmed trimmed uh, uh -huh. and because I hate for it to have my hair making its appearance without being invited mm -hmm. uninvited because hair. the back is for folk for looking at the back of me I worry about the front uh -huh. so uh -huh. but I think I got a systematic approach to handle everything got me a barber that I can go to. Oh, well that, that, and that makes all the difference. Yeah, because that's the thing with me. So if I can find some place where I can go in, one day I paid for another boy's haircut just to get in his hair before him. <laughs> I said, you know, I'll pay for your haircut if you let me get by. He said, you, I said, yes, I will. Look at I that. didn't know his hair was going to cost $20, but it still was worth it for oh, my time. Yeah. Oh, I would have assumed oh, $20. Yeah, I did. Well, see, I don't have sons to know how much they go to barbershop. Never took a boy to barbershop. Um, so, but... I took my walk to the barbershop once. That's only happened to me. Oh once. my god! I was just like, oh my goodness! I feel like a black mom now to <laughs> black boys. <laughs> well, we have a husband as talented as you. Talented as yours, you don't need to take him to that. He is. He's shop. not as talented as that barber was. Oh but really? He, oh. Yeah, Marcus. Marcus is good. He's but he's still limited. He didn't go to barber school. Oh okay. Like I mean, he can cut cut better than some people who do it professionally, but he wasn't well, as good as it. And the dude that cut little Marcus's hair was the name was Marcus. Oh, mm. You and your Marcus's. I know, such I a great saw, name. Yeah. Such a great name. So we're on our way to see, what is it, Mom? Um, Daddy's, Daddy's, home, Daddy's, Daddy's home, too. Daddy's home. Daddy's home. Yeah. <sighs> good morning, guys. I hope you're having a blessed, a prosperous, a magnificent, a glorious Friday. It's Friday. 
Um, I am at the CBS Radford lot. I'm about to go do some voiceover work. Um, I got here 25 minutes early. So I'm gonna go up and prep for my cues. Um, I am mad at myself because I made this thing. Um, it's got hot water, lemon, and honey, but it was supposed to have a tea bag in it. Completely forgot to grab the tea bag. So I just have hot, hot water, lemon, and honey. They might have some tea bags up there, but they don't have the variety that I have in my house. I have like really good teas. Um, but at least I got regular water, so I won't remain thirsty. My mom's at home with the kids, praise God. So I didn't have to worry about getting a babysitter today. People are staring at me. Um, I just wash my body put on just the lightest bit of makeup i am going to put on a red lip here in a second and um threw on this wig because uh i was not about to hold on see because more people are gonna come and keep staring at me i was not about to do my hair that was just not about to happen so anyways i'm parked on one of these streets that they have on the lot that looks like a neighborhood because they like can shoot neighborhood scenes without actually having to be in an occupied neighborhood. Some of these houses that are around me, they are actually offices. So there's people that work in them, but the exterior functions for like shots, like on a sitcom or just any show where all of a sudden they're like in a neighborhood, instead of having to rent out a neighborhood and be able to shoot on the street and hope that there's quiet, they can easily do it on a studio lot. Now, I'm about to be mad because I don't think I brought my red lipstick. I keep finding mascara. How many goddamn old mascaras doing that? Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, I'm about to go up in here, make some coinage. Got to take all these gigs that I can get because um, it allows me to pay bills. Amen. Amen. Nope, fingernail polish. I can't find a red. I have on my red shoes. I have on white pants. This black um, sweater that I've had for a while. I've had it since I was pregnant with the twins. Used to rock it all the time then. It wasn't a maternity sweater. So it's very appropriate for me to wear now. Even though I would wear some maternity. My mother bought a maternity shirt or dress one time. She didn't know and she looked great in it was like yeah don't be ashamed of that it would fit her really nice these little fails are not cute i don't like that do i have a red no i got pinks and purples but no reds that is just a sin against god you know what you know how some religions don't wear red they don't like you to wear red lipstick if anybody's a part of that can you explain why? Do they feel like it brings too much attention to the mouth? And the mouth is sexual and sensual and shouldn't have attention? What is it? I really would like to put on some lipstick to... I'm going to put on this dark lipstick that I just found. Oh, well. This is what I'm about to put on. It's, it's called uh, Bewitched Birdo. Bordo. All right. Oh, I got a crusty. I'm sorry. All right, let me get a napkin and get rid of that. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey, guys. What's up, family? Ooh, this looks a little dark. I am running into the grocery store um, to get snacks for my son's game. I'm open to snacks today. I'm the snack parent. And so after their game, they uh, have snacks outside of the gym. So I'm getting them some uh, oranges. Oh, that's enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're just gonna get them ten. I wish they had the bag that had more. Is that? Let's see. Four, five. I think it's ten and these two. Oh yeah, I like it. So, getting them some snacks and then heading to the game. Oh, I gotta fix this lipstick, guys. It makes it too dark. That Got chick it. angel, that chick angel, angel, that chick angel, angel. I bought the wife of Mama Three.
Yo, 